help me. And so uh, I'm, I'm so glad we're doing that song. Um, Gail's going to do a testimony. And uh, I, I asked her, we, we uh, yeah, you can grab a mic and stand somewhere in this region in front of the camera. Uh, but uh, we met, when we met, when Gail first started coming here, me and Andrea met with her at Panera Bread. You know, that's my favorite place, if you know me. That's where I meet with people. And this lady just had story after story after story of God working in her life. And I said, Gail, can you share just one? <laughs> I know it would be hard to pick just one, but uh, maybe two, maybe two. But, uh, but could you share with us how God has worked in your life? Absolutely. Please. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah. I thank God for being here today. I yeah. thank God for finding this church. I thank God for all that he's done for me. So uh, I'll share a story with you. I shared a story when I was laid off back in 2018. And so it was May 17, 2017, and I had just purchased a new car, 2014 Ford Fusion. And I was sitting in the car. It was a rainy day under a lot of stress because I was taking care of my mother, who would have probably been 89 or 90 then. And I was sitting in the car, and all of a sudden I heard a voice say, I'm a, I was bad with money back then too. <laughs> I heard a voice say, get your finances together. Mm-hmm. And so I picked up the phone. Because when God does something, he has a witness. Yeah. I picked up the phone, and I called our pastor at the time. And I told him, I said, I'm not going to be able to pay my church dues like I normally do. Because something just told me to get my finances together. And I'm going to do it. And sometimes when you hear a voice in your head, it's God. And he's talking to you. And just do it. Because you never know. I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought perhaps maybe my mother was about to leave. But she wasn't. It was something different. And so coming up to 2018, I had a house that I had built in 1998. It was my, I signed on the closing the day after my 30th birthday. And so I had a house and in around I don't know, maybe around April of 2018, that voice again said to me, sell the house. And I had family in the house. So, you know, Mm -hmm. things can get sticky when family is in the house, Mm -hmm. when you got family involved in things. So I, I, you know, things got a little out of control. Not me. So I came home and I was sitting at the kitchen table one day. And I had my Bible in front of me. And sometimes I just pick it up. And let it fall open. And it fell to the 27th chapter of Psalms, the first verse. I will never forget that verse. And it said, the Lord is my light. And he is my salvation. And whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. And of whom shall I be afraid? You don't have to be afraid. Even if it's your family, you don't have to be afraid if God is with you. So I jumped up out of the chair. And I said, I'm going to sell this house. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to sell this house. My house sold in four months. It sold. In fact, somebody called within that same week mm-hmm. to buy that house. It was over on Carbondale. So I got all that together, got everybody out the house. And I received a check. And something said to me again, pay off all your bills. And that was around July. I paid off every credit card that I had. I paid it off. October the 3rd, 2018, I got laid off my job. But get this, I had no bills whatsoever Mm. other than my car note and a house note. But I put my faith in God. If you put faith in God, you can move mountains. And I, I remember I picked up my bag. I walked to the door. I swiped my badge. And I said, Satan, my life is not going to change. It's not going to change. It's going to be just as I was working. And guess what? I went out to my car, put the bag in my car, and I went around the corner to our church. And I said my prayers, and I went home. And God took $15,000, and he stretched it 
for two years. Wow. To the given day, what? I still got money from that fifteen thousand dollars. It's five years later, I still have money from that fifteen. But that's the kind of God we serve. Amen. He can take up if he took two fish and five loaves of bread, uh -huh. and he served five thousand men. They didn't say nothing about women and children. Right. I'm sure they were there. Yeah. Five thousand men. What can he do with fifteen thousand dollars? Yes. <laughs> and, and, and one day, I sat down, and I wrote down all my bills. My rent was $997. That's just one bill. And my car note was like 400 Two bills. So I said, how am I doing this? I wrote down all my bills. And that boy said, don't ever do that again. Oh. The just shall live by faith. And for five years, I've been walking by faith. Amen. And for five years, I have never worried about a bill. Amen. Never Praise came God. up short of saying, Praise God. <laughs> that's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. I thank God. I got many, many more stories that I can tell. <laughs> Get coffee with of her. God. Get coffee with her one <laughs> yes. time. She's got great but stories. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm going to tell you one more thing, too. My mother, she was a sweet lady. She was about 93 when she passed away. And I asked God for specific things when she passed. I said, God, please don't let her pass in this house. You know, I didn't want her to die in the house. And I said, God, when you take her, I know he was going to take her too. I said, when you take her, can you please take her around May when I sign my lease? Because I knew I couldn't. We had that apartment together, and she paid half of the rent. And I knew I couldn't do it because uh, I wasn't handling my finances right. My mother died May 10th of 2020 on Mother's Day. And I was able to, and I signed my lease like May 5th. And she died May 10th, and they let me out of that lease without paying a dime. I don't depend on man. Yes. I depend on God. Yes. And I walk every day in faith. And I suggest you do the same Amen. thing. Develop those good habits like our pastor said. And you'll be all right. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much.